what's going on guys it's me here back again with another video the video topic of the day is going to be faith requires no proof now today I'm gonna to be handing you guys some brand new keys to open some new doors in your life and it's up to you to you know do whatever it takes in order to use this information and go better your life you know a wise man heeds instructions so please understand that I don't know everything. Nobody has it all together. I'm not a professional. I'm not perfect. Nothing like that. I'm just like you. But I'm serving my purpose to help the next person get over suffering in their life. So if you like this video at the end of this message, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you support my purpose on helping people get rid of, you know, suffering in their life, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned in to the messages I'm going to be bringing you guys. All right. <clears throat> So the first thing that I want to talk about to give you guys these new keys to open new doors, the first key that I'm going to give you guys is faith without work is dead. Please understand that. Ooh, that's a tough one now. You know, in, this, in today's society, a lot of people like things to be easy and handed to them. You got Uber Eats. You got everything that can just be delivered to your door from Amazon Prime and all this stuff. Like, it's not people's fault that they're wanting things to become easier it's the government that's programming people to you know that that makes easy seem good easy is not good because the things that you work for you cherish more you understand that and so today i need you guys to understand and i need to change your perception on how you see faith and you have to work for the things that you want they don't just come to you okay this isn't just magical. This I don't want to sit here and steer you guys wrong. I need you guys to understand that you have to put action and energy towards the things that you want. I'm not telling you to kill yourself or overstrain yourself or overwork yourself. But do something diligent enough to receive the results of what you want. You have to suck at something before you can become a professional at it. Nobody can walk before they crawl. You have to crawl before you walk. Understand that. The next key that I'm going to give you guys to open up new doors in your life is without faith it is utterly and totally impossible to please God understand that see God is very intelligent he realized that if he placed a time barrier on the goal that most people want that will weed out the people that are deserving of that goal that they want See, if God puts a gift in your heart or a vision in your heart and you start out doing it and it doesn't go as fast as you want it to go or is it isn't secure as you want it to be secure, then you lose all your faith and say, I'd rather go into a nine to five night. Don't let me saying this affect you in a negative way. This is only to inspire you to make you a better person. So if you lost faith on something and say it's easy to go to a nine to five, I just want you to understand that you will, you're not going to receive the blessings that you want to receive in your life because you're not exercising your faith properly. God wants you to step out your comfort zone. God wants you to be the best version of yourself and stepping back and going to what's easier or what's more secure you know, that's that's lack of faith. That's not trusting in God and what God wants for your life. Because you are a divine being. You're created in God's image. And God only wants good for his children. And so you have to put yourself in position to receive the fruits and the benefits of what God has to give you. The next key that I want to give you guys to open up new doors in your life is I need you guys to view faith like Wi-Fi. Understand this. See, you can't necessarily see faith. And you can't necessarily see Wi-Fi. But here's the one thing they have in common. You know they work once you experience it. See, like the devices that you have, your phone, your computer, your tablet, whatever you use, your headphones that use Bluetooth and, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and stuff like that, all those devices work from the Wi-Fi and you know that the Wi-Fi is working because you can use your device. So if you use that same perception on faith, 
You believe that way, what you want is going to come. You may not see it, but you know that it's on its way. You know that it's there. It's already out there. It's already yours. And see, I like to use the words I am because that's God's God's name is I am. And so whatever you put I am in front of, you saying God. So if you say I am a healer, I am a motivational speaker, I am a, you know, whatever you may do in your life. You saying God is with you. And guiding you in that. And so if you have that perception on it. And see this may not be 110% true. And everybody may not agree with that. But I'm just wanting to give you guys little keys that you can use. Little nuggets that you can use on an everyday basis. And see. And so if you realize that. You know. If depending on God. Builds your faith. Then you don't need materialistic things. Or proof on the external world to see that what you want is coming to you. See, that's why I'm telling you this. Because if you can, if you can find your faith within and realize that, you know, how I just told you faith is like the Wi-Fi. Look at it the same way as the wind. You can feel the wind. You can see the wind shaking the trees and moving the, you know, making the leaves and everything, do little tornadoes and stuff like that off the ground. See, you can physically see the wind and you can physically feel it. You can see the wind through the stuff that it moves, but you can't see the actual wind. You can see the trees moving. You can see the, the leaves blowing, but you can't see the wind. And so if you have enough faith to understand that the wind is there, I'm just challenging you, challenging you to have enough faith to realize that the faith of what you want is there. Like you will never be leaving or forsaken. Everything that you want is already in front of you. You are the best version of yourself right here, right now, because the past isn't here anymore and the future hasn't been created yet. So the best thing that you can do is have faith in right here, right now, that what you want will be here. All right. The next key that I want to give you to open new doors in your life is to not trust man, but trust on God's understanding. Don't lean on man understanding. Trust on God's understanding. See, a lot of people will tell you what you should do or what you shouldn't do. It isn't for anybody else to tell you what to do. It's for you to trust your intuition. It's for you to use your imagination of God in man. The gifts that God given you are for you to use. And see, man doesn't necessarily have a pure heart. And not every man want to see you be successful. Not every man want to see you living your dream. So understand that when you give it to God, you're allowing God to boost that dream up. You're allowing God to put life in it. Because if you try to do it yourself, you realize that you only receive the same things that you always had in your life. So why are you going to do the same thing if it gets you the same results? Now it's time to switch it up and start doing something new so you can receive those results that you want. Correct? The next key that I'm going to give you in your life is walk by faith and not by sight. This is one of the biggest ones that I can tell you because when you start a business or you step out on faith and you don't have support, you don't have someone there cheering you on and, you know, it's very hard to move forward when you got these kind of things coming against you. But see, it is not for you to care about. This is not your battle to fight. This is God's battle to fight. It's for you to stay focused and tuned in to your goal and mission and do it because you know you're just here to inspire and just lift people up. You're not doing this for fame or you want people to just be there and, and, and stuff like that. You want to do it because you're trying to inspire the next person to have a better life. That's what it's all about to me. And so if you resonate with that, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. You know, what are you going to work on to give yourself better faith? You know what I'm saying? What can you do to have better faith with all the topics that I told you? Faith without work is dead. You know, it is impossible to please God without faith. You know what I'm saying? Perceiving faith like Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? What is it that you can do to help yourself believe in your dreams more? Even if even if you have to forget about likes and who's sharing your stuff and who's doing this, that, the other... It takes time to build what you want. And so I'm just letting you guys know that I'm still building what I want too. So I'm just speaking from my experience. I'm speaking from my level of understanding. So if you resonate with that, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, peeps. All right. The last key that I'm going to leave you guys with 
It's just some real straight up facts. And that is faith makes things possible, not easy. All right. So if you think faith is just going to, you know, well, I want this business to start. And so it's just going to magically work within the next couple of weeks because I said I want it. No, you're supposed to go through trials and tribulations to prove your faith and test your faith. All right. And so I'm going to leave you guys with this, you know. Every single thing that you heard in this video, I just want you guys to apply it to your lives. And then wrap this video at the bottom in the comment sections. Go ahead and let me know what you guys are going to do to, to improve your faith. You know, what do you have faith in? What do you, what do you want to happen in your life? Let me know down in the comment section. What do you want to manifest? Who do you want to become? Alright? So until the next video, you guys take it easy. Peace.